ago, Pete came up to me with this crazy idea. Yeah. And I always cringe when Pete comes up to me with different things because I never know what it's going to be or what it's going to entail. And he says, I have an idea for the Croc Center. And I said, what is that idea? Well, you're putting in a new driveway. I'd like to have something, uh, well, you didn't say the driveway. You wanted on the center's ground. But you wanted some kind of special <laughs> plaques. And I said, well, what are they going to be? Well, depicting the history of the Salvation Army in Ashland. And then he went on beyond that. He said, maybe the Salvation Army itself. And I said, Pete, we got to narrow it down. You're going to have this monstrous thing, and I don't know. I don't understand it. So Pete says, well, let me draw something out for you, and you'll understand it better, which I'm more of a visual person. Pete brought me this picture of this thing that he wanted to do. I wasn't quite sold on it. I said, Pete, how is it made? He says, oh, they're made by individual panels. We'll get local artists that will do it. And I honestly thought he was crazy. I really did. I thought that I thought I was going to have to call Cass and say, Cass, we need to do something with Pete. There's something wrong with him. But I have to say that this is one of my proudest moments. Now, I was so reluctant, but 42 artists have been part of this project. And where I'm always a doomsayer, uh, i got to be careful because there's some things can happen when you're a doomsayer. Especially with Pete, you never tell Pete no, because then he makes it happen and beyond where you can imagine. I'll tell you, he wouldn't stop until my wife and I went out to his house and <laughs> entered our little part in it. And every time I put something in, I said, there, it's done. No. <laughs> so I put another piece. I said, there, it's done. He said, no. He says, you've got to be patient and do it right. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. This guy's driving me crazy. But he knew what he wanted. I didn't know what he wanted. But it's absolutely incredible. Uh, and we give the God all the honor and glory. Because this is the history of the Salvation Army through in Ashland, but from the founder's point of view, too. Because we absolutely believe that William and Catherine Booth would love the Croc Center because the mission of the Salvation Army is still true in that Croc Center. And, and we hold true to that mission and provide more than anybody could ever have because of Joan Croc's vision. And if it wasn't for Joe Ray and Joan Croc and their vision with McDonald's, so thank you for all your Happy Meals and Quarter Pounder Meals that you bought all over these years because we benefited because of that. And we have this wonderful center now that we can help individuals in Ashland County. And a lot of people have said to me, why in the world Ashland County? Well, why not Ashland? Why not Ashland? Why not? And I, I absolutely think it, it's the best thing that could ever have happened. And, and the Army, the Salvation Army has thought so. They've actually given us $3 million more dollars to work with and in our endowment and have challenged us with a campaign to raise more money. So we're going to do that. We're grateful for that. Because the Salvation Army believes that this is this place is a permanent place here, and it needs to be valued well, and so I'm grateful for that. I'm going to ask my wife if she will come. We're going to have a, ded a dedicatory prayer, and then we're going to unveil the wall, and you can applaud whatever you want to do. Some of you probably have seen it already. Some of you might not have. Eventually, we'll have a light on. That's what you see this path going around. They're going to run electric, and they're going to put a light on us. It'll be lit up at night, so be really nice. All right. All right. And I will just tell you as well, B has one of the um, brochures. Um, Donna has more up at the front table by the front door if you didn't get one yet. But I'd invite you to pray. Father, we, we give you thanks for the vision that the people have had through the centuries to share the gospel of Christ. And we thank you for the heritage of the Salvation Army, both worldwide and also right here in Ashland County. Thank you for the part each person has played in this new uh, art wall. Might as as people look at it, might they wonder, wonder who that's about? Might they ask questions, and then might they come to ask the question of faith? We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 All right, Pete. Are we ready? I already took the stone off, so all you got to do is pull it down carefully. Okay. Just so you can see, this is 
uh, William and that's Catherine. They're the founders of the Salvation Army. We have the Croc figurines, and this is the logo of the Salvation Army, the Crocs logo. Uh, the torch is from our cadets who was here this summer. That was their session mate or their session name. The corn, what is that corn of bread, Pete? This is the produce of Ashland County and what is mostly represented in our county where we live. And the next thing? This is this represents what the Salvation Army does. The soup kitchen, the, the bread and the soup. This represents the feeding program that everybody benefits. And, and of course, we are we are an army of faith and prayer and our praying hands. Uh, if you notice the cross in the middle, because we believe in the blood of Jesus Christ. Obviously, this community is known for the Amish, so we brought in the Amish. And they, and they, thank you, Major Joanne. They were the ones that took down all the structure that was here, right here, so that this part could be built especially for the Salvation Army. We believe in the Word of God, and so we have the Word of God. We have the McDonald Arches, which is uh, a good thing to have because if it was for Rain Junk Rock, we wouldn't have that this uh, Croc Center. We have the front of the building, which is the flags. So you've got the three flags, the Salvation Army flag, the American flag, and Ohio State. Uh, what do we get on the other side? This is the Hallelujah Lassie. The Hallelujah Lassie. If you don't know about the history, the Hallelujah Lassie is an important part of the Salvation Army, especially in their origin, and, and bringing, allowing women to be what God intended them to be, to also minister the Word of God. So, started out in the streets of London, we have a bass drum, the horn, the tambourine, and they go out on the street corner, preach the gospel, play music, the crowd would gather, and then somebody give their heart to the Lord, and the bass drum was the altar. And they would pass around the tambourine for the collection play. Only usually they they counted on on Catherine. And here I have to say, Catherine Booth is looking at you and asking, "Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb?" Now this wasn't stuff I made up. This was stuff that got put into my head from. I got to say, when B North said, "Will I come and help teach a class?" in Stone Art, I said, yeah, between that time, which was in May or June, and in July when it started, the Lord put all this stuff in my head, and it wasn't if, it wasn't anything else but do it. So, it wasn't my idea to do it to start with, but the Lord's idea. This panel is Thank the you, original Lord. Salvation Army on Main Street, right? Yeah. Is this the one on Main Street? What's that far one? This is the one that just recently goes torn down on 3rd Street. Okay. And then, of course, the Salvation Army. We were trying to figure out what to do here. We knew about the kettle. The Salvation Army is known for the kettle. So Matt Miller's idea was this Proverbs uh, 1917. I don't have the Proverbs. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. And then, of course, we have the whole building, which is right here of the Croc Center. I'll have you know that I put in. It was this panel right here. Yes, the best panel that I, uh, I worked on. And every time I kept saying it's done, he said no. And if you think it's hard pull teeth, Think about how hard it was to get those two to come out. <laughs> they had to. They had to have a part in this, and yeah, yeah. and I think the Lord told me there was no excuse. They had to do it. We tried so everything. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. They fed us. They fed us. <laughs> we've got Honduras. And we've got Puerto Rico. Hallelujah, Lassie was called away from the street corner sent to Honduras to start a new work. So now the Salvation Army is starting up in Honduras. And yeah. also we've got the outline of, if I'm right, do you have the outline of Ohio on here? Yeah. Yep. Right there. Right. Ohio. Ohio. There's Ashland. There's Ashland. That's what that was like. 
Yeah. Okay. Here's okay. here's Kentucky. Yeah. The, the eastern part of Kentucky. And there's this is this Cranks is Arlington County, Cranks Creek Survival City. This is Honduras. Uh, and Hallelujah Lassie has one foot in the Caribbean and one foot on land. She's ready to come over here and start working on you. Let's give a hand to Pete and all this. It's wonderful. And I thank all the artists and all the people that were part of this. It's wonderful. And then Pete did the outline around yes, it Pete as did well, this, so. all this outline in the outside around here, so it's really gorgeous. Very yeah, nice. Every, every piece of art needs to have a frame, so now it has a frame. Very nice. Very nice. Then you want to mention about Eliza Shirley? Did you mention that one? And Eliza Shirley has to go back and have more cosmetic surgery. <laughs> <laughs> but she's, yeah, she's coming. Eliza Shirley was, she was a young, she was a hallelujah lassie. She was a young Salvation Army officer in England. Her parents came to the USA because the trade that her father was in was declining. And so, and it, in 1879, she came to Philadelphia. And she was 17 years old. She was in charge of starting the Salvation Army in the United States. And so, in Philadelphia, in 1879, that was the first Salvation Army Corps. And if you want to read a really good story, read uh, "The Girl Who Invaded America." Ha, 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 ha.